on then. Good morning, guys. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> Tom just went, can I do the intro? <laughs> good morning, it's no, today. No, 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 I've just done the intro. You don't need to tell them good morning again, do you? Right, okay. Honestly. Oh, you'd think I'd never done it Slacking. before. I know. Today is... Sunday. Sunday. It feels like a Saturday. Do you want me to just do the intro? Yeah, off you Instead go. Of the full thing. Yeah, here you go. No. <laughs> <laughs> we are in Iceland today. If you're tuning into my channel because it's Saturday morning and I always upload a vlog, go back and watch the vlog that I uploaded on Thursday because that kind of explains the context. But basically, we are currently in Iceland for my 20th birthday. This is Tom's. You're not 20. I'm not 20 yet, but this is Tom's gift to me. And we had just been exploring, but today we're having a little bit of a road trip, slash, not really because we can't drive. <laughs> um, but we are going to Reykjavik. On which, a bus. On a bus, which is the capital of Iceland. We're currently staying in Keflavik, which is about 25 miles away however Reykjavik has more stuff there more stuff to do and obviously we're here we might as well explore the capital city let's go anything you want to add no not really what should they do subscribe subscribe this is my outfit today the lighting in this bit of the room is so bad I have this green skirt on which you can't see and then these huge Doc Martin style boots with this white top in fact I'll show you in the bathroom yeah this is better though you still can't see that it's green here is a close-up of the color of my skirt I then have woolly tights on because it's currently five degrees in Reykjavik which isn't freezing cold like I actually did think coming to Iceland it would probably be colder um, but walking around outdoors all day is going to be freezing so I've got on this white top tucked in to the skirt and to my tights and then my tights and then I've got socks on underneath my tights because my boots are still quite new so they actually do hurt my feet so I thought if I wear socks underneath hopefully fingers crossed I won't get blisters and then hold on a second I'm also going to be wearing this jacket which is literally the warmest thing ever I'm so glad that I brought this with me because it just means that I haven't been cold because I've been able to just wrap this around me um so this is from Topshop the skirt is from Topshop and so are the boots basically the whole outfit's from Topshop or the tops from New Look if you're thinking of visiting Iceland this time of year just pack as if it's like the UK winter because it's cold but it's not like you need a thermal on every single second cold but like it's pretty cold <laughs> just arrived in Reykjavik and look how gorgeous this like park is this is the first like open space we've seen that looks kind of normal and isn't rocky but I think because everywhere is looking really orange for autumn also Tom's got his hood up you look really funny in the camera it just looks so pretty well we found British food chains we've got a Jamie's Italian here how random is that we've stopped off for a little bit of light breakfast even though it's lunchtime because it took us longer than I thought to like get here but we're in a place called Cafe Paris which is ironic because this time last year we were in fact in Paris winter attire is back on it feels a lot colder than four degrees but we just enjoyed a nice brunch and we are about to leave and explore the actual city because we don't really know if we're in the center or not like Tom's being annoying hello <laughs> we look so you think stupid it was warm here. you know what actually guys it's the height of summer I was just about to say everywhere you go no matter where you are there's always an Irish pub Always, look at this. Wherever you are, no matter how far you are from Ireland or from home, you can guarantee there's an Irish bar. We have found the Christmas shop, guys. Everybody has recommended me this off of like Instagram and stuff. So as you can imagine, I'm very excited because we know how I feel about Christmas. Shall we post a letter to Santa? Santa's mailbox. The Tom, your hair's looking lovely. Oh wait, it's a puffin. We're walking up to the like, I think it's called the Harp Music Hall, which is like their main leading opera house, which is this really cool piece of architecture. Ignore this, they're doing some building work. But Tom and I were just saying, how bizarre is it that we're in the capital city and the backdrop are just these incredible mountains. Like, it's so bizarre. Tom and I just bought an Icelandic chocolate bar to try because I've seen these everywhere. However, also ignore my hair. Oh my God, I look hilarious. I don't like it. I'm really let down. I'm really upset. It's just cost me three pounds. Oh, Tom's found a chair. What's new? We have found like the main street, we've got a subway, we've got a couple more restaurants. 
and the rainbow on the road is what makes this like quite well known and quite famous we've actually already had a look at this online because at the end of it is the church which is quite famous look how cool this street is this is so different to how i was imagining Reykjavik tom and i have come to a vegan ice cream shop which is really really cool i've actually had quite a lot of vegan options in iceland but they have a really really big menu my friend erin would absolutely love this they've got loads of different flavors of ice cream loads of different things it's all gluten free as well which is crazy but yeah it's called gelato ah punny they've got little signs up on the wall that people have like drawn while they've been here this is my personal favorite a crepe a day keeps the sadness away which is kind of sad but also I feel like we'd be friends. I've left my own message of inspiration. This is a really nice idea. So they've got a whole wall of quotes and things that people that have been here have made and left. And they're from all over the world. A girl from New York, that one's a girl from Norway, Hawaii. The further out of the town we've walked, the more cold it's got like progressively. Um, and it's really, really freezing stood here. But I was just saying to Tom, it has the same style roof as the Chrysler building in New York. I don't know if you can see it. I would be interested to know if they have the same architectural design or quality content that you've subscribed for this, isn't it? Church. Go on then. That's it, we're in a church. That is it, looks that like is a it. Rocket. It does look like a rocket. Views kind of sick, but kind of like, there's nothing it's here. It's weird, because there's not <laughs> actually much to look at. I haven't had to look at that. that. That is impressive actually. It was six pounds to come up. I'd recommend, there's not that many other tourist death, like touristy things it's in it's the centre. Look. Do you reckon there's anybody up there? No. Tom keeps going on about mountain climbing. I'm slightly scared he's going to drag me up one. I don't know if you can climb those mountains. You probably can. So it's getting on to like 3 p.m. and we are going to go for like an early tea, late lunch because we've only had those pan of chocolates. Um, and we're actually going to go to the Hard Rock Cafe, which I totally know is cheating. It's not Icelandic food. However, if you want to watch us eat in like local places and independent places, watch the vlog that went up on Thursday because we actually ate in two completely independent restaurants. One of them is in a hotel. One of them was just like in Keflavik. Both of them were absolutely lovely. But Tom and I have this thing where if we're in a city that has a Hard Rock, we usually eat in the hard rock just because one we know we love it and two we're trying to like tick off as many as we can but yeah anyway basically i was just saying because i always get comments whenever i'm abroad being like i can't believe you didn't eat in an icelandic place if i'm honest i don't really think we'd like the like local stuff we have gone for a starter tom is so eager to start but i have no Should shame so sour cream yeah it's what i always go for wouldn't have it any other way even though i'm actually really full from the starter <laughs> never mind they're playing the 1975 i'm so full guys i honestly feel a bit delirious like i've eaten so much food and this was so bad because i've actually not eaten too unhealthily so far who am i even kidding i've eaten fish and chips and a burger What's going on here? Tom and I are so confused, right? So we're sat just finishing our meal in the Hard Rock and this guy comes and sits at the table right next to us. And there are quite a lot of tables. And then about three minutes after he sat down, he started playing his own music really loudly, like screamer music. Like the first song was in English and I was like, oh, this is weird, but okay. And then after that, he just went into like Icelandic screamo music. <laughs> and he's playing it really, really loud over the other music. But like the whole point of the Hard Rock Cafe is that it is a music cafe, like it's, that, that, like that's what it is. And he's sat there with his phone on full volume right next to us and we're just looking at him like, <laughs> not, not really what you do but other than that it was nice we left and now we are just having a bit of a gander we've got like 45 minutes to an hour until we need to head back for the bus um so we're just gonna go in some shops i really want to get a um a little icelandic like memento memento i keep saying memorial i don't mean memorial i mean memento i'm not sure if i'm missing something but i've never heard of this brand but it's my new favorite i want a top and a dress that say pringle on we've found a little flea market vintage market i don't really know what you'd call it but it's really cool it's just in the center of Reykjavik and we just found some really really nice stuff that i'm taking home as a gift we're now back at the bus center my hair still looks hilarious we found it pretty easy the bus goes in half an hour bought snacks as well because like i said we had like an early tea so later on we're probably gonna be hungry but yeah this bus station's at the airport so it's a little bit of a walk out of the center but it's not too far like it's worth doing so we have made it back to keflavik all well and good we got the bus it was fine apart from the bus has dropped us off at airport departures 
we need to get a taxi from the taxi rank which is at airport the arrivals taxis. but it's dropped us off at departures thinking most people have got this bus back to get a yeah, flight yeah, yeah. but well, we're not yeah, getting a flight nice. until the morning but then I know that we could have asked him. I know so we're walking around the airport like that way, so there's maybe a chance that it could be this side yeah maybe no I doubt arrivals. it that's Oh yeah, arrivals. Okay, so we need to find arrivals, basically. But right now, we're just trying to find somewhere to get a taxi back. Because it's absolutely chucking it down and it's dark and it's 7 o'clock now. I just want to get back. We are back at the hotel. You can tell I've been rained on. But tonight, our plan actually really was to see the Northern Lights. Now, sadly, that isn't going to be able to happen, which we both knew was very unlikely. It was never, like, certain we'd not booked it because they actually advise that you don't book it until the day or the day before because you obviously can't guarantee the weather. And it is actually pouring down, so there was no way, really, that we were going to see it tonight. They said that we could book onto the tour if we wanted to, but the chances of seeing it are, like, two out of nine visibility, so we were, like... We're not going to do that. It costs like £70 plus we'd have to get back from Reykjavik and we wouldn't be back until like midnight and our flight, we need to leave at five. So it would have been really pushing it just to not see them. So we were like, no, we're just going to have a night at the hotel. We're going to go in the pool for a little bit. Obviously, we've got the heated rooftop pool if you haven't seen the vlog from the other day. So we're going to do that. But just before we go up there, I actually just wanted to give you a bit of info. If you're planning on visiting Iceland, I've had a lot of messages saying that people want to come. So I think this will be really helpful to know before you visit. Um, just because we didn't know this, but basically, if you spend more than 6,000 Icelandic krona, which is about 35 British pounds, on any, like, goods, like clothes or things that you can take home, basically, you can actually get up to 25% tax refunded back to you. So at the airport, you have to take your receipts on, like, a little form, and then they refund you the money that you've spent. So say you bought something that was worth 40 pounds, you could claim 25% of it back at the airport, which is actually really good. We weren't aware of this until just now when we were in the airport because we thought you could claim it back for anything we've been keeping receipts because we thought yep we've heard that you can claim this back but it's only on goods that you can like take home in your suitcase so it's not food it's not the hotel stay and it's only on if it's above 6,000 Icelandic krona. Very random, very niche bit of information, but I do feel as though it's probably helpful if you're planning on visiting. But right now, we're gonna go to the swimming pool. Are you ready? We're pool ready. It's gonna be nice, it's gonna be warm, it's also raining. I'm looking great. That was going great until it started torrentially raining, so we've come back. <laughs> Look at that, wow. Tom is watching match of the day. No. Wales Croatia. Oh, is, oh, that really relevant game of Wales v Croatia. And I have, on, I have been sat in a towel for a good 40 minutes not moving whilst Tom had a shower and then proceeded to watch Wales play football. But I am the worst of this. How many people get out of the shower and just don't get dressed for like an hour and just sit on their phone and scroll in a towel? Because I do this every single time I have a shower. And honestly, I think it's my biggest waste of time in my whole life. Like, if I didn't do this, Really feel like I would get more done. My hair is now a lot drier and we are going to go to bed. It's kind of late. It's not super late, but as I said, we do have to get up at five, which is gross. So I'll pick you up in the morning. By the morning, I mean a few hours time. Good morning. We are now in the airport. Basically, we got up at like 5.15, I think. Tom's feeling it. He's yawning again. We should have a yawn count. I've got a cup of tea. Joe and the juice on every corner. There's been so many. They're in Reykjavik everywhere yesterday. And the airport alone has about four. So, I have just got home. I really didn't film anything at all between being in Kavlafik Airport, um, which I'm definitely saying wrong, and being here. But basically, you can imagine what happened. We got on a flight, we sat on a train, and now I'm home. You've seen me do that a lot. So I'm going to end the vlog, but before I did, I thought I would just show you the one and only souvenir that I bought, which I mentioned yesterday, just to add to my collection of little travel monuments. And it's really not very exciting at all. It's just this little Icelandic ship, which I'm going to go and put in my office because I have a little stand, which you guys might know. In fact, I'll show you it in a second. Hold the phone. So this is my little area of landmarks. I'm just going to move them around a bit so that it doesn't look really out of place. But I think I'm just going to stand it there. Now, you're probably thinking, Molly, this is really sad. But this is just like a little thing from each of the places I've visited recently. It's not like every single place I've ever been. But I do really like it. I think it looks cute. And this is my Iceland one. I am actually going to end this vlog here. Just because there's not really anything else to add. As you're currently watching this, my birthday is tomorrow. So, the 20th of October. Which I'm so excited. Slash kind of apprehensive about. I've spoken about this already. But like, turning 20 feels really different for me. Like, I feel like turning 18 is a really big birthday. But like, technically 
basically yes you're an adult but you are still a teenager but i feel like transitioning from a teenager to just into your 20s sounds like a big change and i really haven't accepted that yet so i probably might have a bit of a moment on sunday but you know it's fine i have a video going up tomorrow that isn't a vlog it's a little bit a little bit different it's birthday themed but it's not a haul or anything like that and it will be quite a short concise but a bit more deep a bit more poetic um and i'm excited for it i haven't edited it yet but i'm gonna leave this here i hope you have enjoyed watching our trip to iceland thank you so so much to tom for booking it it was absolutely incredible i really recommend visiting the blue lagoon and Reykjavik um if you ever fancy a weekend of complete relaxation it is really really chilled out that is the only way i can describe it it's very very bleak there's not a lot in iceland but just for a weekend it's kind of like perfect to just get away so as i said if you've enjoyed it give it a huge thumbs up and please do go down below and subscribe because that really means a lot to me and i shall be back tomorrow on my 20th birthday what the hell bye guys <laughs>